Okay, guys. So, I've decided to go ahead and... Play some 2K22 to set up universe mode. Actually need to check something. Is there any way I could take these titles off of everyone? That's definitely not it.
Uh, disband that. save. Okay, it did. Um, hold on. I have this written down somewhere. Um, hold on. I have this written down somewhere.
My question is, do I have only one champion, one major champion for both shows? That's my question. Yeah, it probably would, Josh, just to have one champion for both shows. But now the issue is, what world title do I want to use? Um, you know what? I was always a fan of this one. But now, who do I want to give it to? Because technically, Do I go and put the title? <laughs> I mean, Josh. Yes. I mean, I I could I could easily put it on Andre, but then the difficulty is, is you know, Andre's the boss, and he wouldn't put anybody over. See the I don't want to go the two obvious choices, which is Brock and Roman. Because each the Raw and SmackDown rosters each have ten main like main eventers. It's also just depending on what brand I want to start out with the world title. And if I want every pay-per-view to be co-branded...
You know what? I know this probably won't be a popular opinion, but... I'm going to give it to Seth. Now then, do I want Raw to have the Intercontinental title or SmackDown to have the U.S.? Or vice versa? Oh, also, also, welcome, Josh, to the channel. Yeah, see, Josh, I always liked the idea of Raw having the U.S. Or the, the, the Intercontinental. You're absolutely right. So I think so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep the roster at 30. So now I need to figure out what mid Carter is going to hold the Intercontinental title. Now, also, the issue is what Intercontinental title do I want to use? Because I'm thinking I'm just going to use the Oval Intercontinental title. Because I hate the new look of the Intercontinental title. We've seen the white strapped Intercontinental title for so long. Well, see, Josh, I try to to mix it up a little bit. I try to have a little bit of both on each show. But I I want, like, usually what I like to have is my champions pretty much. Be the ones that can that can actually carry a match and put on good matches. Which I think, in my honest opinion, is still WWE's one weakness, even with Triple H and Creative. Okay, I know who I'm putting the IC title on. I'm putting the IC title on Gargano.
Okay, so that's good for right now. Actually, I'm going to turn that down to eight. Why is... No, that's not the world. That's the world. Now I'm trying to think, do I want one set of tag titles as well? Yeah, wow. No, I'm going to have one set of tag titles because... Yeah, this is in balance because the way I've got these rosters, I've got Smack or Raw having one, two... Raw's got four tag teams to SmackDown's one, two... God, I hate those penny belts. But do I go the classic ones? Yeah, I'm going to go the classic ones. Yeah, I'll give them to the Usos. So what does anybody think? Should Raw and SmackDown each have their own women's titles, or should they have one single women's title?
I think I'll give them each their own title. I'll give the raw one to Bailey. Just the money in the bank. Okay, now I'm going to flesh out the rest of the roster. Apollo. Theory. It's 34, it's close enough.
I need to go back in and edit that. I mean, the music really doesn't matter. Obviously Roman. Seth is going to have to be on there because he's the champion. Strowman, Cesaro. Surprisingly, Omega. Thank you. 
European or U.S. title? I'm going to go U.S. And then I'm going to give it to... going to give it to Sammy. And now, now. Murphy and Mustafa. Becky. EO. Addy Naomi. Mia. Ray. 
Ember. And Indy. Seven. Okay, cool. I forgot to put Breeze on the roster. Sammy. Just to help SmackDown's main event scene out a little bit more. I'll put AJ on there. I want 30, 34, 34, 34. I think I'm gonna go 34, 34. So there are certain people that I'm not adding that I have other plans for. Like Bowler, like Priest, uh, like Devlin. I actually add Owens, Knight. I'll actually give SmackDown, I've got it, I'll give SmackDown another tag team. There we go, 34 and 34. There we go, 34 and 34. <laughs> Obviously do the, the co-branded pay-per-views first. January is... Rumble. Actually... Yeah, can I not? 
not? Summer Slam's in what, August or is it July? Summer Slam's in what, August or is it July? August, okay. I can never remember when SummerSlam is. I can never remember when SummerSlam is. Well, hello, uh, John Cena 7690. Also, due to my dyslexia, I get SummerSlam and Survivor Series mixed up. Okay, so... Rumble, Survivor Series, Mania, SummerSlam... Do I want the first pay-per-view to be money in the bank though? Do I want the first pay-per-view to be money in the bank though? I think it will be money in the bank.
There we go. to check something right quick. Making sure that... Okay. So I now need a pay-per-view for June, July, September, October, December, February, and March. do I have? Do I have any pay-per-view ones downloaded? Okay, I do. I think I'll go backlash. Again, the music really, it really does not matter. I hate the fact that they call Backlash WrestleMania Backlash. change all this to
And this will be a Raw exclusive. So then, July. Those of you that are in here and watching, what would you like uh, SmackDown's July pay-per-view to be? Those of you that are in here and watching, what would you like uh, SmackDown's July pay-per-view to be? Okay, I can, uh, I can dig that. Great American Bash? Alright, let me go see if I can't. Let me go see if I can't find a decent enough arena. How has no one looked up Great American Bash on here? There it is. I thought it's, I forgot it's under the. Man, wow, Jesus, some of these are way too American. Gotta go that one. I kind of already got a uh, February pay-per-view in mind. Now that I sit here and I think about it.
All right, so now SmackDown's July pay-per-view. This is one thing I hope 2023 has, 2K23 has, is less loading screens. I think we definitely go that one because it's the Great American Bash. Which let me ask someone, did? Does anyone ever remember any major match that Rey Mysterio had at the Great American Bash? Because off the top of my head right now, I cannot remember. Was it him versus Booker T? The only reason why I'm asking is because I'm surprised they didn't have the Great American Bash in the uh, showcase. So again, anyone in the chat room, what would you like Raw's September pay-per-view to be? Okay, yeah, see Josh, I couldn't, I can't remember any WWE Rey Mysterio match at Great American Bash either.
Because I wanted to say the Great American Bash that I remember Ray being in, possibly in WWE, is the one where Chavo turns on him. But I don't think that's Great American Bash. Hold on, I'm going to Google this because I would like to actually see if I'm not completely and utterly insane. Oh no, I am right. Rey Mysterio versus King Booker in uh, Great American Bash 2006 for the world title. That's the one where Chavo turned on him. That is how unmemorable Rey's world title run was. I still can't believe Jonathan Coachman pinned anyone. Having Jonathan Coachman as a pro wrestler made no sense to me. Could he have possibly have been like a mouthpiece for someone who needed a mouthpiece? Maybe. That's pretty much like I can't believe Logan Paul within his third match got to challenge Roman Reigns for the universal title. But we're not going to talk about my hatred for Logan Paul. And, I mean, Josh, I can kind of believe that Jonathan Coachman pinned to Jerry because Vince hated everything ECW and WCW. That's why none of the WCW guys ever succeeded fully. Like, they had to literally, Booker T pretty much forced them to put the world title on him. And Van Dam, they put the world title on them on him because they were literally in the home of ECW. That's the only reason why. And can you really count the Dudleys as succeeding? Yes, they're one of the most decorated tag teams, but... It was pretty much Vince McMahon's version of the Dudleys.
like a, a guy who I think that they should that they should have um, easily have pushed very easy. From ECW was Raven. Like, because at that time you had The Undertaker who was in his great American badass form. You had Kane who was pretty much teamed with Taker. So you could have easily have brought Raven in to kind of like replace like Ministry Taker, I guess. I don't know. And then they easily should have p pushed Taz like. Josh, Vince couldn't even comprehend how the grass was green. Vince hated everything that he didn't have a, a hand in creating. And I'm not going to sit here and count, you know, Ray, Eddie, Benoit, and all them as... <laughs> Uh, successful ECW stars. Because yes, they were successful in ECW and WCW, but then again, Vince McMahon took them and built them in an image that he wanted. Like, it's kind of like Goldberg. That's why Goldberg's run, his first and second run, gets so much hate because in WCW he was squashing people in, like, 30 seconds, and then they had him wrestling, like, 30 or 40 long-minute matches with Triple H. Granted, at that point in time, that was the Triple H reign of terror, so... I mean, Triple H didn't even put over his two best friends, Shawn Michaels and Kevin Nash, at that point, so. I mean, Josh, I don't know what you mean about the sky being purple. The sky's pink. Sorry, I ramble a lot when it comes to WWE and the mistakes that they made. Like they have so, they had so many missed opportunities. It just it aggravates me. Oh no, I, I I know Josh. I was I was just adding on to the to the joke of the sky being different colors. Because at that point in time the sky was different colors every other week events. Like my one thing is I don't know how you don't In 2005 and 2006, I don't know how you... I don't know how you don't build the ECW brand around the heat that Matt Hardy had with Edge.
Because if you literally listen to what Paul Heyman says when he says, Hey, Edge, I got two words for you, Matt freaking Hardy, and that crowd erupts. Like, they should have put at least the ECW title, if not given Matt at least a small run with the WWE title at that point. Granted, was Matt as talented as Jeff? No. Could Matt probably cut a better promo than Jeff at that time? Yes. And also, Josh, the way that me and my friends look at it is Vince McMahon never thought logical. Actually, the October pay-per-view, I've got that in my head now. It's going to actually be hosted by SmackDown. actually going to be Halloween Havoc. Did I spell that right? No. I got the O and the C mixed up. Guys, I will be right back. I need to go use the restroom.
All right, I'm back. So let me ask anybody this, if an, anybody besides, well, Josh, you're going to answer this too. Anybody else in here that is a wrestling fan, what is your guys' uh, what to you guys is considered the greatest match of all time? Let me ask anybody this, if an, Yeah, ooh. Yeah, that ooh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a hard one for me. Man, I don't think mine could compare to Kobashi Masawa 2003. I mean, I hate to go the obvious one, but what is happening? September is supposed to be a raw pay-per-view. I think I gotta go... I gotta go Savage Steamboat.
Yeah, Savage Steamboat WrestleMania 3 for the IC title. But then again, you can throw in Flare Steamboat. Um, I mean, you got... You got Michael's Taker. Michaels and Angle was really good the one time they wrestled each other. Any match that Benoit and Angle wrestled together was fantastic. Who's everyone's all-time favorite wrestler? Okay, apparently September and October does they do not want to work. I cannot set two different pay-per-views for September and October. Can I do this then, perhaps? My two favorite wrestlers... But one of them's not really even a character, or one of them's not even a wrestler, he's more of a character. Um, I grew up uh, a huge Undertaker fan, he's actually what got me into wrestling.
Who would my second be? God, there's so many. You know, okay, so I think one of my favorite wrestlers, and he had quickly become one of my favorite wrestlers from watching him on SmackDown all the time. I would have to go Eddie, Eddie Guerrero, because his death impacted me a lot when he died. Whatever, Extreme Rules will be a co-branded pay-per-view. Since this game doesn't want to work right now. And it'll apparently run from September to October. Now, I'm sitting here and I'm trying to think of uh, another question, and mine would be who's the greatest faction of all time, but... That's a hard one for me to pick. What was the first faction that inspired me as a wrestling fan? Again, I'm going to go with the obvious here and go the Four Horsemen. Because I don't know about anyone else's favorite factions or tag teams or... All right, guys, I've been going almost two hours now. Um, my head hurts from uh, 
car accident I was in earlier today. Um, I've also just got a headache. So I will be getting off of here. Um, my next stream should be Sunday. And I will most likely be doing more of setting up this universe mode. So by all means, come on back Sunday and the universe mode should be set up and then we can get into it. So have a good day, guys.